Okay, see Linda Law videos, TI Inspire Cast. I'm going to try to work with quadratics today. And we're going to think about quadratics in vertex form and talk about how you would write the equation that shifts x squared to the left or to the right and up or down. So vertical and horizontal shifts of a quadratic. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the first thing I'm going to do is what your professor is going to do is to give you x squared as your parent function. So I'm going to say x squared because they're going to ask you how to move this. So here's that curve. And this is what I'm saying to you, that you can pick up this curve. And you see what I'm doing? I'm just sliding it over. So I had it here. And here's my original equation. I can slide it over to here. To So this is my x squared. I wanted to move x squared over three places to the left. When I did that, just by picking up the curve, I see that it went to x plus 3. I know that there's this little extraneous amount here. It's because my ability to move it is not precise enough. And also, you can see I made a small vertical shift. So that's one way of testing it, just by picking this up and moving the curve. You could also pick it up like this, and you could pick it up to here and say, look, as you move this up, look what's happening to that 1.76 value. Look what happens to it. It goes up as I move up. When I get down to zero, a height of zero again, it gets near zero. You can see it's near zero, and then down here again. So the other way that you could try this, and I kind of prefer this way, is to go here. I'm going to go up to here. I'm going to fix this and put it back to x squared. So here's my x squared back, yeah? And instead, I'm just going to try something, because I have an idea of how vertex form works. So what I'm going to do is just try here. I hit tab, and I'm going to say, well, what would happen if I took x plus 3 quantity squared? Would that move it exactly three places to the left? I hit enter, and absolutely it does. What if I wanted to move it to the left three places, but also down three places? I go back to tab, use this button, this entry line button here, go back up to here, look. I want to see if I can move this up by three, so up by five. So plus five, would that work? Hit enter. And there it is. So this is just a quick way to use your calculator when your professor asks you a question about transforming an equation, just to put it in there and see what affects what. Hope this was helpful. This, can, this calculator is amazing. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know.